So what exactly is the appendix, and why might it need to be removed? Well, the appendix is a small, tube-like organ located in the lower right side of your abdomen. While its exact function remains somewhat of a mystery, we do know that it can become inflamed or infected, leading to a condition known as appendicitis. Appendicitis typically starts with vague abdominal pain that gradually intensifies and localizes to the lower right side of the abdomen. Other symptoms may include fever, nausea, vomiting, and loss of appetite. If left untreated, appendicitis can lead to serious complications, such as a ruptured appendix, which can be life-threatening. During the appendectomy procedure, which typically lasts from 30 minutes to an hour, the surgeon will remove the appendix. This can be done through either laparoscopic surgery or open surgery, depending on your specific situation. During laparoscopic surgery, your surgeon makes two to four small cuts in your belly. The surgeon puts a thin tube with a camera on it through one of the cuts. This laparoscope helps the surgeon see inside your belly. The surgeon puts surgical tools into the other cuts to take out the appendix. During open surgery, which is called laparotomy, your surgeon makes one large cut in your lower right side to take out your appendix. The surgeon makes a bigger incision if your appendix has burst and remove the appendix. If the appendix is inflamed or burst, the safest option is to remove it, and there you have it. But what about the gallbladder? If it's inflamed, should we remove it too? Click here to know more. Thank you.